if you take and look at a global map right now, um, this is actually really sort of the coldest area on the planet. And the rest of the planet is, again, warm. And if you look over in Alaska, you'll see these bursts of warm air coming into Alaska and then cooling um, as they get out of the sun, essentially. And so the reason it's so cold is that in winter, in the northern hemisphere and in the southern hemisphere, um, the sun goes down at the pole. And once the sun goes down at the pole, it starts cooling, it starts emitting radiation space, and it gets cold. It also becomes a little bit isolated because of the jet stream that forms around that cold pool of air. It leads to this formation of something in the popular literature that, or the popular press now called the polar vortex, which is um, a phenomenon that has been studied for many years. In fact, much of my thesis work was on the polar vortex in the stratosphere. Uh, but that vortex is, is a little bit isolated um, from what's going on at lower latitudes. And that isolation is caused by, by this jet stream, which um, essentially ends up acting as sort of a, a rubber band, perhaps, that surrounds us there. And, and you can push on that, and it causes these sort of bulges of cold air to come down. And so this year and last year, that bulge of cold air has come down over the eastern part of North America, and it has remained relatively stationary there. This is not the first time this has happened. You can go back and look in the late 1970s. You'll see a period of three years or so where there was a lot of cold air over the United States. Uh, and so what you're seeing is the variability associated with something called perhaps the Arctic Oscillation. But there's always this sort of you, you never have a perfect circle of cold air isolated at the pole. You always have this sort of, sort of, you know, wiggly rubber band uh, uh, approach, or, or some people would say it's a little bit more like a balloon. Uh, it's not fully inflated, and if you push one part of it, it bulges on another part of it. So it's perhaps being pushed up over in Alaska right now, where warm air is pushing towards the pole, and you get get the polar vortex displaced and it has to go somewhere and right now it's over the eastern part of the U.S.